Good morning, Privateer FX fans. Starting out a little bit late this morning. Went for a little bike ride through the mountains to start my day. Mainly to get this oil trade off my mind. Got stopped out last night, as I'm sure everybody did. Uh, we sold 6250s. <coughs> stopped out. 6301. Um, I guess these Russian sanctions are biting a little bit more, so... We're going to wait uh, to get our oil bear boots on until we see prices below $62. Uh, so right now we're square there. Elsewhere, it's been relatively quiet. Uh, risk on overnight. President Xi's keynote speech was received quite positively. S&Ps are up a percent. Darian's back above 107. Aussie is above 77. So we have a risk on tone to start the day. Whether that continues or not, we shall see. As you can see, Euro is just trading sideways. Dollar Swiss the same. Uh, dollar Yen is higher, but marginally higher. 107.19 doesn't mean anything. It starts to get interesting if we can, if we get up and can break 50. I'm not sure that's going to happen. Euro yen, this 200 day is interesting now. We stopped there, dead balls high, 132 the figure yesterday. Today we've been up to 03. You kind of think prices above 10 now uh, are going to attract some buying from the systems crowd. So keep an eye on Euro yen if we stay risk on. Elsewhere, our old friend, South African Rand. Last 10 days, it's been getting smashed. Got up to 14. We're really getting going to start getting interested when we see prices above 1220. But the setup is happening here. Um, dollar Rand. We're looking for that print at 1220. Uh, speaking of setups, Aussie printed 50 yesterday. We didn't get the follow through that we needed. We're square Aussie now, but this downside setup, when risk does turn again, looks very good. Could possibly happen tomorrow at the FOMC minutes release. Elsewhere, equities, uh, we're sellers still. Uh, we had a pretty bearish close yesterday at 15, but we've had a pretty bullish Asian session. But as you can see, this is just sideways now, 2380. I mean, sorry, 2580, 2680, sideways, sideways. It wouldn't surprise me if we blip above 2680 into this sort of trap break up here uh, before we eventually continue on the downtrend um, in this sort of bear market setting that we're in. That's really all I have for now. We don't have anything in the crosshairs right away here at the open. Um, we're going to be watching for some prints. The Euro Yen looks like the best setup in general uh, if we stay risk on. Good luck out there, guys. Catch you.